Welcome back to Call for Help. Before the break, we asked you a little history, kind of self self involved, I guess. But what year is it Call for Help, Aaron? We know it ended this year, so 2007. When did it begin? I bet Chris Perillo might know that. I don't know. 1998, May 11th, 1998. That was when Tech TV went on the air. This is no longer Call for Help. This is the Lab. It's successor. I'm Leo Laporte, and uh, standing right next to me, a guy who hosted Call for Help. For uh, what, what year did you host Call for Help? Uh, 1952 to 1950. He yeah. looks younger than he is. I'm actually 74. <laughs> Chris Perillo, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to see you. Yeah, you too. We've been working, mostly you, but I've been you know, peripherally watching, on a, on a very exciting uh, project to create an online presence for many of the tech TV folks, the people who used to work on the show, but also for uh, everybody to participate in. Kind of a YouTube for geeks. Yeah, kind of. Uh, the Of course, we know that the network is no longer around, but all the community is still following everybody. Kevin, yourself, me. Patrick, everybody. Everybody. And we're all over the place. We're doing wonderful projects, well, the lab being one of them. Right. I mean, obviously here. Uh, but since we're all over the place, there's no one easy way of finding what everybody's doing. And more importantly, getting the community involved in a way that they really weren't involved with before. Some tech TV people who d don't do anything but could. Yeah. Uh, uh, we would love to get Brett Larson and Chris Kosach, all of these great names. And, and you put out the call at one point. You said, let's do this. And this company, PickSpot, stepped up and man, they were ready. Yeah. Well, they were developing a platform anyway. They were fans of the network and they said, look, we're trying to create something that is going to make it easy, easier for communities to communicate with one another and upload content and share information and all these things. And I sent the link to you. You said, yeah. And I, I, said, I was blown away. Yeah, well, they, they had done a lot of work with it, and we were able to massage a little bit of our own flavor and say, well, here's Chris kind of what we Chris sent them about 8,000 notes. But anyway, <laughs> Scott Waddell and his team are in Toronto. This is their uh, version of PickSpot for us, which is called Undo TV. That's yes. the name uh, uh, that you came up with and everybody loves because we're undoing what television does. Well, I didn't come up. I didn't actually come up with the name, you but didn't? we all did. Oh, I, I think. Well, it was kind of a committee thing, and I'll have to pull up whoever now Somebody whoever named it. Now I don't all have right. the name on hand. So these are clips. In fact, you're seeing uh, clips from a some, lot of different folks. In fact, some people uploaded some content for that they probably shouldn't have uploaded because this is not what I really want to see. This is like history. This is some some part of its we history. We want to go forward. Right. So basically, uh, encouraging community uh, members who are producing their own content, and whether right. they're uploading it to Rev or well, YouTube. Well, and all of Twit.tv is on there. Uh, we're going to get, uh, you know, Amber's Command N is on there. I mean, a lot of stuff is already up on there. Yeah. We're going to see a lot more. The public beta has just begun, so people can now finally be participating in this. Well, um, the, show us how it works. Well, I mean, it's, it's simple. I mean, it's just like any other video upload network. That's not the... the Interesting part. I of love Awesome Games, opinion. by the way. What a great video podcast! Yeah. Isn't that well, fun? But that's the that's the great thing is that there's so much good content out there, but finding it and filtering it into a community is is really where a lot of these video networks aren't succeeding. Right. Um, but with the PickSpot platform, uh, this is just for our community. You could upload audio, video, text, flash, photos. I mean, it's multimedia, anything. literally anything. anything. And the video upload tool is, is, is pretty simple. I mean, family-oriented, give it a title, a website link, a tags, description. It's kind of like YouTube. It, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, What's it's the just limit another on video size? upload pl platform. Um, at this point, I, don't, I can't imagine if, if there was. It would probably be between 10 and 100. The mm -hmm. thing is, is we really want to discourage people from uploading content that they don't own. It's got to be stuff you've made. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. Is like Right now, it's in beta, so there's some stuff on there that I wouldn't necessarily be in, We don't want to get sued by Viacom. Yeah, we're, you know, <laughs> we're here to create something that gives people a chance to publish their own stuff. That's exactly. the point of it. So if, 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 I, if I do so a you stupid made little video. Yeah. Show this video because well, it's hysterical. Well, I did. I thought it was well, stupid. Just but. here to help. I've heard a lot of people this? talking like about the bad batteries yeah, yeah. and potentially explosive situations. So in case you're wondering how to check to see if your laptop battery is problematic, here's what you need to do. I was feeling unshaven. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing important. is to make sure that this latch is it's kind of stuck. These batteries are very dangerous. Yeah, I, you, gotta, yeah. you really want to make. Sure. Oh dear! Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> oh, what happens dear. there. Oh dear! If you're not uh, by the way, no, the, no, yeah. no laptops were harmed in the manufacture no, of this. No, nor, nor was I. I had an undo <laughs> button exactly. Uh, but no, the cool thing of what PickSpot's doing, and through the feedback that we're giving them, is they're. I mean, you've seen videos embedded on web pages before. They're making it so that let's say a video is embedded on twit.tv. and someone comments, they can comment in the video itself in that video flash wrapper. 
it will show up everywhere that that video oh, is being published. It goes with the video. Yeah, it's oh, like it's neat. the it's so the idea is that all the content that you're driving or the, all the traffic that you're driving into that video uh, is going to be discoverable wherever that video is being seen and viewed from. So we really want people to share it, not yeah. only on on Do TV, but then on their sites or on their blogs or anywhere they want. It's a it, it, there's a kind of a dig style voting, so people can you find the best clips. Yeah, this, and, and unfortunately, I mean, the, the site is still in beta, and they have actually... It's amazing what they've done. Well, th that's what, I wish I could show you what they're working on now, because it's, it's an evolution of that, that really, I mean, the developers are going to love it, because I've been hammering them, like, APIs, APIs, you know, make it easy so that the community, if, let's say, you do something on uh, s something that Apple just released, um, well, now, if the community produces content similar to that, they can discover yours, and y your visitors We're can discover theirs. I'm convinced that that's the future, where... It, it's not about holding on to what you've got. It's about creating community yeah. and sharing it with the world. And we're all going to. And there are revenue models for this. There's there's advertising. There's pre and post roles. Uh, Undo is going to share revenue with all the creators. So it's not like uh, you won't be participating. Well, yeah, and that's the thing is is and that's why we're hammering home. You know, own your own content because we don't want to necessarily own any content, but just bring it together and yeah. surface it in a way yeah. that. Just that's makes it point. smarter. Yeah, that's is, the whole point. This isn't a television network. This isn't an IPTV network. This is just a place you can go to find a whole bunch of great stuff about technology. And making it easy for people that may not have technical savvy to be to able to do own. it and get discovered. So yeah. it's, it's for the old community. It's for the new community. Undo.tv is where they should go. And, that's and, and, and now you can sign up for a, uh, the, the beta is open, so you can sign up for an account and you can play with it yourself. And, and see how cool it is. And I'm really glad you're doing this, Chris. And thank goodness. Just a part of it. You've got so much energy. Uh, you got the energy to, 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 to push this through, and it's been really, really great. So, what are you up to? Uh, everything and nothing all at once. Locker Gnome? Yeah, Locker Gnome still rolling. Gnome Dex is coming up? Yeah, no, the next one. In fact, okay, I know I said it in passing last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, okay, no, I, seriously, maybe we should do like some old, like a reunion. I'd love to do it. Like an old tech. Where's Gnome Dex going to be this year? Seattle. Okay, uh, great. It's been there for the past few years, so great. if we can get as many and what's old the tech TV years. Oh God! Uh, Just roughly, uh, babe. Uh, his wife I'm knows. Bonzi knows. Is it April? Is it March? No, is no, no. It July? It's August. 9th? August. August is fine. That's good enough. Yeah, it's August. You go to gnomedex.com. Sure. G n o m e d e x dot com. You can find out. Chris, it's great to see you. Yeah, you too, Leo. Come back. We'll do some more stuff. You just live down the road. Yeah. In fact, Ponzi's going to join us in another show. I really? Understand. You didn't know that, huh? We'll be back with more right after this. Stay here.